Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahusha, Bahashem, Rekah, Kwidash. Double honors to that apostles and as well as the elders that taught us what we know. And as well as um, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha, to all 144,000 and as well as the one third. All around the world that are in this truth. All right. And this is your brother Laban coming at you with another video for this week. And I just want to give my response to the Amazon Palm payment tech system. As this uh, reads, it's coming to all U.S. Whole Foods stores. This payment option will be available at all the stores by 2024, um, Amazon says. So that's pretty much all I'm going to read right there. So just once again, showing that this B system is incoming. When we look at these articles over here and to do with, you know, a world of where cash is no longer in effect any longer. You know, we have frequent articles about that topic. And if I was to type in CBDC, I would probably get more frequent articles on that too. Simply because the world that we are now living in is going to be turned into a digital setting and, and to go and, uh, you know, partake into this new world system. You're going to have to get an implant, which would then make you be at one with the system. Now, when we look up this word, um, mark, the word is uh, Karakma, right? And uh, the word is a stamp and imprinted mark. And this is the word marked for Revelations 13 and 16, as well as you know, because we go over it so many times, of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. The mark branded upon horses, thin calf sculpted, graven work of idolatrous images. So A, you know, the biblical A usage would be right in this, in this sense. Because the minute you take that implantable device, you're basically saying that you can identify yourself with the system versus you identifying yourself with the Most High himself. All right. And really, ultimately, this only applies for the Israelites because the Israelites were given a law not to print any marks around them. You need to make any cuttings for the flesh for the dead. OK, so it's in our law that prohibits that. But you're going to have our people anyway because they trust in this world and they believe in this world. And, and it's the only thing that they can only but believe in. So they're going to go ahead and they're going to take that mark. And as well as those that are in these different camps that don't want to accept the reality that Revelations 13 and 16 is indeed the implantable device. So anyway, this reads, you shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shall thou mourn the corners of thy beard. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. So that's why we are not supposed to, what, partake if it's made mandatory to get an implant. All right. And just by looking at this word, um, mark proves that the implantable device would have to be the mark of you know what now let's look up another word because there's a root word to this and the word is karats something else i want to bring about so the word or the words that they have here is uh, a pell or stake a palisade or a palisade or a rampart basically a, a wooden um, stick which looks equivalent to that of a pencil so if you look at the palisade and as well as you look at the needle that is needed to implant the tech inside of you, it looks exactly the same. The shape of it, the shape of the needle, as well as the, um, the palisade, what it looks the same. All right. Proving that once again, that the MOTB prophecy will it include the implantable device. It is the implantable device. Just to put it. Uh, just basically like that. All right. And um, the reason why they're, they're doing this is because we know they want to be gods over, over the face of the earth of all people, but as well as they want you to be branded because as they, as they already do, they look at us as what? Um, oxen. 
cattle um, product. So this is going to be their form of showing that we belong to them and we no longer belong to ourselves anymore. Okay, and that's why if you notice at time of the time of you being able to express yourself is becoming more and more um, limited. Because if you can stop a man from speaking, that means you can stop a man from doing anything else. And that's what it's all about. All right. And speaking about speaking your mind. <laughs> if you watch the, um, the film 1984. What you're going to see. Is that um, people were um, in the film were considered as thought criminals, and this reality is is, is coming coming along the way, because they're setting up these AI systems and they've already um, authorized that. Basically, you really have to be careful now of what you say on social media, because you could actually be arrested for that. You know, there's articles on that, and I'll get into that later on, Lord willing. But anyway, let's get into this. Human branding or stigmatizing is the process by which a mark usually a symbol or an ornament pattern is burned into the skin of a living person with the intention that the result scar makes it permanent. And this is performed using a hot or very cold branding iron. And it therefore uses the physical techniques of livestock branding on a human, either with consent as a form of body modification or under coercion as a punishment or to identify an unslaved, oppressed or otherwise controlled person. It may also be practiced as a rite of passage within a tribe or to signify membership of or an acceptance into an organization. And that's exactly what he saw is going to do with this implantable device. So if you want to be able to do A, B, and C in society and receive different various services, you're going to have to get an implant. Didn't Bill Gates say what he said? On this article over here, Bill Gates launches mandatory mark of the beast digital ID system, right? And this is what he says. We just read this before. Just to read a little bit of it, just to go back to what he was saying, right? Globalist eugenesis, Bill Gates has unveiled a new MO to the TB digital ID scheme. I just said it anyway. Mark of the beast digital ID scheme that he says will be mandatory for all citizens around the world. If they want to participate in society. All right. And there's other articles too where he says quite similar. So I'm going to back up a little bit. And we're going to scroll down. Right. Bill Gates declares everyone on earth must prove their identity using his global digital ID system. Uh, the UN is planning global digital ID system linked to bank accounts. So again, I say, let's just say you don't have the implant. How could you link with the digital ID system? How could you get access to your CBDCs, which would be what? Implanted under the skin, as Richard Werner put it. So in order for you to partake in this society overall, as you're doing right now, you're going to have to get that mark. But if you do get that mark, the consequences is written in Revelations 14 and 10. So that's why they're setting all of this up. They're setting all of this up because they want to make sure that everybody is, is branded with an implant and therefore everyone's going to be monitored easily. And saying that they want to be gods over all people. Now let's read this. Deuteronomy 15 and we're going to read verse uh, 16. Let's begin by reading verse 15. And thou shalt remember that thou was a bondman in the land of Egypt, and the Lord thy power redeemed thee, and therefore I command thee this thing today. And it shall be, if he say unto thee, I will not go away from thee, because he loveth thee, and thine house, because he is well with thee, then thou shalt take an awl and thrust it through his ear unto the door, and he shall be thy servant forever, and also unto thy maidservant thou shalt do likewise. So the implantable device is no different from the all. Because back in the ancient world, during the time of um, the Israelites, especially when, you know, they had their own, um, you know, sovereignty, they would practice these laws. Right. So if you had a servant and your servant loved you as a slave master, you would basically prick his ear, 
with the all through the doorpost, and that would then signify that he was going to be your slave forever. So again, I say with the implantable device, you're going to declare to the heavenly father and his heavenly host that you're down with shaitan. By taking that implantable device, which is the image of this system, which is the satanic system at, at best. So whoever wants to agree to disagree, it really makes no difference at all. What we say the MOTB is, is the way it's coming through. And it's going to be well known, as I've said, and as you've all said from time to time, that GMS was always right. All right. And let me read one last precept and then I'm going to end this. Um, let's go and get the book of Ezekiel. Let's yeah, let's begin by reading this Ezekiel 12 and 21. And the word of the Lord came unto me saying, son of man, what is that proverb that you have in the land of Israel saying the days are prolonged and every vision faileth. Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord, power, I will make this proverb to cease. And they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, the days are at hand and, and the effect of every vision. Exactly. For there shall be no more any vain visions, nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the words that I shall speak shall come to pass. And it shall be no more prolonged for, ye, for in your days the rebellious house. Will I say the word and will perform it? Save the Lord power. Exactly. Because you got this spirit out there that's like, well, the mark ain't the, the mark of the beast is in the implantable device. It ain't coming anytime soon. We don't really see that happening. So it's got to be something else. Well, it's going to come to pass. And the way that the, that the Lord speaks. Is through his prophets. So if the prophets speak a word, it's the Lord speaking through them. So if the Lord said that A, B, and C is going to come to pass, that's what's going to come to pass, whether you see it or not. And when it does come to pass, as it is also written in the book of Ezekiel, the second chapter, that's when they're going to know that a prophet had been among them. And that's all I'm going to say on, on this right here, because it's very clear what we see happening when we read these articles concerning this this um, implantable device, which is the prophecy mentioned in Revelations 13 and 16, which is the prophecy. All right. It ain't anything else but that. So just wanted to be brief on this and, sh and just responding to, you know, this um this Amazon Palm payment tech and going into other things as well. All right. And also showing that you have a, a, a large amount of articles that have went out concerning this future which we're already living in the future of a cashless society anyway. All right. So that's all I have to say with that. I'm closing and I say, Shalom.